good kill. Okay, I'm climbing out and uh, we'll go ahead and turn off, oh that's not right, we'll go ahead and turn off our navigation lights, we'll leave the formation lights on because I think those look cool, and let's go ahead and turn on our instrument lights, and all that good stuff, there we go looking good and then we'll go master arm on and we'll select the 530s so um, interest of full disclosure I'm not very good in the Mirage um, but I have been getting an interest in learning it some more so I figured we could uh, do a quick mission what better way to learn an aircraft than to take it through a full air-to-air air-to-ground mission so we're gonna fly in. We gotta hit that Russian bomber, uh, Tupolev 22, and uh, we should expect to get bounced by some Sukhois who just showed up here. I don't have them on radar yet, and there's a bunch of Sam threats out there as well. So things should get interesting here. Now I have that Sukhoi on my 12 o'clock. There he is. Got him on radar, and go ahead and IFF him, and he is definitely hostile. And so we're going to start climbing here. And we'll just wait to lock him up. All right. Oh, he's got a friend. Great. Yep. Two Sukhois. Accidentally locked up the rear guy. Want the the lead bandit? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and climb only because I want to see if I can coax them into taking a long distance shot. They'll get their launch authorization a little bit earlier if I'm higher up, and then I'll dive. Okay, they got me locked up. And there's the missile launch. Very nice. Great. 29 miles. We'll go ahead and start offsetting to the right and diving at the same time. So by offsetting, I'm dragging the missile. I'm maintaining my gimbal lock on him because I also want to know how far I am from him. And also I want to be able to shoot back once I get a little closer. There they are. Looks like one's flanking and one's coming right towards me. We'll go ahead and crank the other direction and we'll offset left this time 
drag the missile the opposite way. And by doing this, we're completely bleeding that missile's energy. And then we'll crank it back in. And we're at 12 miles, 11 miles, 10 miles. Fox 1. And we're going to go ahead and dive again and offset right once again away from the second bandit because we don't want to merge with him. And try to maintain that lock as long as possible. If I lose the lock, that missile goes stupid, so it's absolutely crucial that we maintain this lock here. That's Sukhoi's defensive and splash. He's out. Okay, that's one Sukhoi out. We got a second one out here somewhere. I still have him on radar here, slightly to the right. I'll go ahead and lock him up. And he's got me locked up. He is very close. Fox 1. Or flares out in case he fires a Fox 2s at us. He's got a missile launch. And his missile doesn't seem to be tracking. He may have lost the lock, and at this point he's completely defensive as he tries to... There he goes. Splash one. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select our Mark 82 Snake Eyes, and we'll put to all four release at once with a 10 meter interval, and we'll get those on instantaneous. Okay, so the problem here is that I can't go high because we'll have, um, there'll be SA-11s and S-300s out there that'll be covering the high portion. And as far as I know, there's also AAA on the ground. I don't know where, but they're somewhere in there on the way in. I'm going to have to fly low, because if I fly high, there's no way I stand a chance. There's overlapping SA-11s and S-300 sites. So it's got to be a low fly-in, treetop level, if not lower if possible. And try to dodge any AAA that they may shoot at me. And we're going to go in, drop the bombs, and immediately... Xville the exact same way, low altitude. We're locked up. We got a SAM launch from an SA-11 over there, so we're going to dive, drag that missile into the ground, and that's going to be um, as high as we're going to go all the way in and out. We're going to have to be treetop tree top level all the way in and out. If we're going to have any chance at this, and so we'll see what the Mirage can do. Okay, we're safe from those missiles. Okay. All right, let's see what she can do.
All right, so I've made it to the area where I should see the airfield. So I'm just trying to pop up here and orient myself and find it visually. This is going to expose me to some risk from the SA-11, SA-300 sites. The S-300 site is going to be the, the biggest problem here. He'll see me even at a low altitude. I don't quite see that airfield. Now we got a missile launch. Okay, it's right in front of us. Go ahead and dive because we got a missile launch. SA-11 site is firing at us. And it's coming from right there. I can see the launch. So we'll get back down. And we'll pop up in the last second to drop those bombs. And then we have got to hightail it out of here real quick. Okay. Okay, here's our climb. I have a missile launch on me again, which gives me a few seconds here to get this target. I can make out the Tupolev 22 on the runway here. Looking good, pulling 1G. And pickle. That looked like a good kill. Looks like all those bombs landed. We got AAA fire coming in. And I'm getting the bingo warning. And that S-300 site fired at me, but I think his missiles uh, lost track. So I'm safe for now. Once again, we're back at treetop level. And we're going to be here all the way out. And back to the base. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. It really helps me out when you do that. Big thank you to all of you who are already supporting the channel. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Alright guys, so per usual, we'll do a quick air-to-air -air review here. We got our two Sukhois that came in, and the Elite Bandit fires at 29 miles. I'm at about 30,000 feet, so the reason I climbed against them was his computer is calculating a launch authorization for his missile. And the lower I am, the closer that missile or that computer will have to wait before it gives him launch authorization. The higher I am, the computer will be like, all right, if you fire now, you know, at 30 miles, you might actually hit him if he continues to fly at this altitude. So I'm actually coaxing the AI into taking a long distance shot. And so as he fires that missile, I instantly start diving. Because I start diving, that missile is not calculated to hit a target that's at a lower altitude, so it's gonna die. 
Okay, now unfortunately he has many more missiles. So it's not like if I can just kill this one, I'm good. Uh, which is probably why he even would take that shot, you know? You would only do that if you had a lot more missiles. And the other problem is that the R27ER far outranges the Super 530 that the Mirage carries. Um, however, I believe the Super 530 is faster up close, like if you're within a couple of miles or like 10 miles, I think it's faster than the ER in that couple of seconds. So realistically, if you were 10 miles apart from a Sukhoi and you fired a Super 530 and he's firing a Fox 1, you're firing a Fox 1, your missile should get to him first, which means you should be safe because his missile will, will lose track, right? So we're going to dive down. You can see this missile is already defeated, Mach 0 0.14, and you can see these cranks, right? So as we were diving, we cranked this way and then we turned it around and we came this way, always maintaining the gimbal limit of the radar to maintain the lock on the bandit. And you can see that this missile is being forced to make some pretty crazy turns to try to hit us. And every time it makes these turns, it's bleeding energy. Okay, so by the time it ends up here, it's still too far from me, but it's completely dead anyway. All right, which allows me to commit onto the bandit now we have a second launch of an r27 er and within here i'm within nine miles of that bandit so i fire my missile super 530 you can see it's off the rail at a mach 2.6 2.06 and his er is once again so as i fire that missile i dive back down and i crank away again right so instead of continuing in the direction of the missile which would easily his ER would easily hit me. I'm diving, so I'm dragging the missile into um, denser air and also offsetting once again to the gimbal limit of the radar, which is dragging this missile once again. So it's, al it's also being dragged into thicker air and also it's being forced to turn again, okay? And all of those things combined is what leads to this missile now being Mach 0 0.8, which means it's essentially a paperweight. And so I'm going to continue to maneuver so you can see that missile's garbage. And because I'm maintaining the gimbal limit of the radar, the missile still has track. And you can see that that missile is going to impact him at Mach 1.2, splash one bandit. And so instantly we're going to recommit onto the second guy. The other thing that's important to notice here is um, here. Let's go here. So as I was doing the cranking, I was trying to maneuver into this direction. And the reason I was doing that is because from the contrails, I could tell that the second bandit was off in this direction and the first guy was over here. And I wanted to kill this guy because he was the lead. So I didn't want to end up over here where I was engaging the lead and the second guy was about to kill me. So I'm going to crank off to this direction is where I was aiming to be. So when I killed him, I could just recommit in and find the second guy and be safe from him because I can only engage one bandit at a time. So once I splash the first guy, I start pointing in the direction that I thought the second bandit was, instantly found him very close. He was within eight miles, I think, when I fired this missile here, Mach 2 off the rail, and he fires one as well. Now the interesting thing <laughs> with this Sukhoi here is as soon as he fires that ER, I don't know what he's doing. He's doing some weird Cobra thing. I mean, it's not a Cobra, but I mean, I don't know why he's going full vertical up because there's no way that he is within the gimbal limits of his radar to maintain a lock on me, which means this ER is now garbage. But you could argue that he did this, like he fired this prior to my launch, but he knows that my missile is going to be faster than his, although it doesn't look like it. I'm only Mach 2.6, but that could be an altitude difference. No, it's pretty much the same altitude. Maybe their missiles are faster too, actually. The R27ER might be faster than the Super. So if that's true, which it appears to be because it's Mach 3 and mine's only Mach 2.5, then he's a complete idiot for breaking the lock. Because if he had maintained the lock, his missile would have hit me first, and then this missile would have gone stupid, and he would have been safe. And he could have stayed nose hot the entire time. Okay, but because he breaks off, his missile goes stupid, my missile continues to track, 
and there's the hit. All right, and that is the air-to-air -air engagement of the mission. Okay, guys, so as I mentioned, the video, uh, during the video, the mission is available for download. So if you want to try it yourself, go ahead and uh, have a go at it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.